Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it's time for the Spring FabFitFun unboxing. So for those of you that might not be familiar, FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box and it's about $50 per season, but you're supposed to get over $250 worth of stuff. And you do get uh, full size product and you get an eclectic amount of different, or eclectic assortment of different things. And um, it's pretty fun. I used to get two boxes, but I think the last couple of times I've only gotten one. So I love the box. It's always fun how it's done and it opens up nicely and I use it to re-gift or to gift things. And sometimes I even re-gift things that are in my box because I don't use all of everything. Oh, this is 10 years of FabFitFun, it says. So that's kind of neat. This season we will be toasting to 40 spectacular boxes, thousands of add-ons, tons of perks, and an unparalleled community. FabFitFun team. Oh, and then they give you a little scratch off. You could win $10,000 pack. And it says scratch and match. Oh, I thought it said scratch and sniff. Ooh, so let's see, I have this, and I have this, one, two, three, four, five, six things in this box, and I'm going to get the, rid of the box, and I don't know the best way to do this, I'm trying to um, show you guys and kind of try to be on camera a little bit, just because I think that you guys like to see that too so I don't know but let's see this is a set of four melamine plates I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly but these are nice I have used these before on the patio I used to have some of these they're like plastic they are I don't know if they're unbreakable but they are harder to break um there's something on this one but Wash thoroughly before use and dishwasher safe, top rack only, not suitable for microwave. So that's kind of a bummer that you can't use them in the microwave. But Chris and I like to sit outside on the porch and um, I'm thinking that I might keep these and use them on the porch. Now, if I don't keep things, I end up giving them to usually my daughter or one of Chris's kids or that's kind of the mo for these boxes because sometimes i get things that i don't really like and this says that these are in the color navy or marine and i would not call this navy i would call this a gray like a dark gray <clears throat> but they are very pretty sometimes though now that i say that sometimes i do have a hard time telling the difference between gray and navy or dark or black and navy even i don't know i'm a dingbat so this feels like glasses doesn't say anything yet And they are indeed, are they sunglasses, I suppose? Which will be nice. I'll leave those on in case. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think, what you really, really think. I think they are very nice. I can, I was getting a glare, now I'm not. I'm not sure about how they look. Honestly, without my glasses, glasses, sometimes it's hard for me to see regular things because I, wear my glasses all the time now. I used to not, but since I've had these glasses, I wear them all the time. And um, so, I mean, I can see myself, but I can't really get a good look to see how how much I like them. They're kind of big initially, but I know that that's kind of the trend and I'm so not trendy, but um, as long as they do the trick, I am good. And uh, going to Hawaii, it might be nice to take an extra pair of sunglasses for my honeymoon, woohoo. So yeah, I mean, they're kind of cute, I think, from what I can see, and nice. I will most likely keep these. I'm not sure if I like the round this, at least by looking at them not on me, but I kind of like the cat eye cut up here. So let me know what you think. But I will most likely keep those, and I guess I should keep them in the little this, I think, probably, oh, it does. Oh, it's their Kate Spade. Look at that. Well, now I like them even more. It has the little spade on there. 
that's silly to say, but it's probably true. It's probably like, oh, I shouldn't like them more because they're Kate Spade, but I think I might. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this is. This is a spa hand headband. This headband is a great tool to hold your hair in place while you wash your face, apply your favorite face mask, do your makeup, etc. Stretchable for a comfortable fit and machine washable to reuse. Now, I actually do use one of these um, for exactly those purposes, but let's see. Oh, see, I don't like the way these feel. They, my fingers are so dry and they just, I could wear it like this. If my daughter's watching, she will know exactly what I'm doing and why I did this, and she will laugh. But you people are probably going, what the heck? She's crazy. I know that's not how you do it, but this is definitely going to Katie if she wants it, because I do not like the way it feels. I am big on that, and this feels like terry cloth, and it just, oh, it like, can you hear that? My fingers are rough and dry anyway, and... Oh, I do not like that way they feel. So this <clears throat> can go to the chick. My chicken. What's this one? This one is Generation Skin Quick Fix and Chill 2-in-1 Mask Plus Scrub Max Exfoliate 2-in-1. This creamy, dreamy 2-in-1 mask and deep cleansing scrub gently draws out impurities and stabilizes excess oil production, resulting in refreshed, balanced skin. It also works as a gentle exfoliator to lift dead skin and encourage cell renewal. So that, I love masks. I really do. I don't do them enough. And I should probably do some on my hands and my hands might not be so dry. But I love me a mask and I like them this way when they are, hopefully it is not like one of those peely kind. I like the, even the dark clay masks. Okay, this one's white, but has an exfoliator in it. I can feel it. As feels like little grains of salt or sand and apply to clean skin forming a light mask leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and massage and rinse thoroughly with water use two or three times a week for best results so that is fabulous this is my favorite kind of mask so yay and I really don't care if they are like those ugly masks that are black or charcoal or whatever I don't care I have two more things it looks like, so I'm gonna go for this one, sprinkles. Use in a muffin tin or freestanding on baking sheets. Silicone baking cups, set of 12. Ooh, I was actually looking at these, thinking that that might be a good thing. And sprinkles, that's kind of a cute name. Ooh. Ooh. So they have a little tab on the side, which is kind of nice to help you take them off. And yeah, it feels just like a baking cup. This is nice. I think I might like this. And they're silicone. I don't do a lot of cupcakes, but I don't mind making like muffins or even um, cornbread. I could use them for those. And there's three different, four different colors. Three, there's three different colors. <laughs> No, there's four different colors and yeah, looks like there's three of the pink ones, three of the green ones, three, oh, there's three of each. My goodness. I thought I counted four of the yellow. So I was like, oh gosh, there's four of that one, but only three of that one. <sighs> I'm nuts. But yay, that's kind of exciting. I don't know if I'll leave them in the box or not. That would probably make it less likely for me to use. So I'll probably take them out of the box. This is ceramic. This is Katie Kimmy set of two berry colanders. What's a berry col colander, you might ask? Well, I don't know either. Oh, but they're cute. Oh my goodness, if I can get it out. Don't eat this. I don't 
look at how cute these are. They are stuck in here. Those are really cute. Katie Kimmy. There's no instructions or anything. Um, handle with care, they're fragile, wash thoroughly, they are dishwasher safe. Doesn't tell you exactly how you're supposed to use them, but I didn't know that they were called berry colanders. So now I'm wondering if this is what you're supposed to clean them in and then let the water drain out the sides. Then you can just kind of leave them in there so they get some air. That's what I'm kind of thinking. It's kind of cute. Gosh, this was a hit. My last FabFitFun one, I wasn't really impressed with, but I really like, I think I'm keeping everything except for that crazy headband only because I didn't like the way it felt. Otherwise, I would keep that too because I could use another headband. I have one and it's elastic, which I like, but some of the elastic broke, so now it's kind of like not elasticy as well as it should be. It had two strands of it, so one of them is still holding my hair back, which is fine, but um, yeah. I could use another one, but I'm not going to use that one because I don't like the way it feels. But these are really cute. And if Katie wants them, I would let her have them, but they are cute. And we do eat a lot of berries around here. So, well, I'm excited. So thanks for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.